Hello everybody, I've completed my renovations in the shop and now we're going to take a biscuit joiner and what we're going to do is we're going to take this block of softwood and I'm not using hardwood, I'm using softwood because this is a test, we're going to try something new. What we're going to try is we're going to try to make the concave shape or the rounded shape in a, of a spoon in this piece of softwood to see if we're successful and if we're successful with making it with a biscuit joiner then we'll be able to do it in hardwood and we'll be able to make the concave shape of a spoon which most woodworkers know is a very hard thing to do to scallop out the the concave shape of a, of a spoon some of them use a wood lathe and spin the spoon in the jaws of a wood lathe uh, other ones try to route it out with a router and some of them try to grind it out or uh, or uh, chisel it out and there's different methods it's done to try to make that rounded shape but I thought it might be a nice test to try it with a biscuit joiner because of the shape of the head of the biscuit joiner so let's see what happens and we'll do the next stage of this test in time lapse so here we go it starts with a niche and a tingle and then it builds and expands and suddenly all at once my legs won't let me stand I scratch till my fingers go numb but my skin never bleeds okay what we can see is the test results came out inconclusive uh, we've done it uh, with the so you get it in focus here as close as we can and take a good look it did gouge a hole, but the hole it gouged is spoon shaped roughly. It's rounded hole, but it's very, very rough. So I would say that the test came out inconclusive. Uh, one thing, it did gouge that hole rather quickly. It's quick at gouging a rough hole, but it makes a very rough round shaped hole. It's, uh, so that's why I say the test is inconclusive because I was hoping for a hole that would be a little bit smoother not so not gouged so rough because that would still take quite a little bit of grinding work and, and sanding work to get that smooth and rounded so that's why I say the test is inconclusive so anyway nothing ventured nothing lost it was an idea and it's uh, it's a now we see how good a biscuit uh, joiner does it gouging a hole a rounded hole well, this concludes this test. Happy woodworking, folks.